How you guys doing? Um, welcome to my channel if you're new. Uh, this is like a dream interpretation channel. Uh, I, I have like a lot of dreams about like a lot of different celebrities. And uh, I relate it to my testimony. And um, one thing I want to say is uh, like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And um, these dreams are about like Chris Brown, the rapper or singer, whatever he is. Uh, who else? Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Will Ferrell. <laughs> so one thing I want to say is like, uh, if you've never like been on my channel before, like, um, you know, I started like I uh, was looking at my own like Instagram, and uh, I was worshiping these plans for my life like seven years ago, and then I got cursed with like a drug addiction. And I know it's because of the music I used to listen to and the movies I used to watch. Because I know that, like, the Illuminati, you know, like, they have spiritual wisdom. That's just, like, what I think Illuminate means. Like, they just have wisdom of the spirit. Whatever source they get it from. And, um, I've seen, like, Christian celebrities. And I've seen, like, a lot of worldly celebrities. And they all represent, like, different principalities. Like, destruction. Or division or like whatever it is like suffering like I've seen Beyonce as like suffering like as a like as like false prophecy I've seen her as like she just like puts out all these good plans of a righteous life and then everyone else like uh, makes worship music on how they're gonna destroy it but from what I've seen like all this stuff is already in movies from these like actors from like decades ago and uh, these rappers and singers, anytime like the kingdom of heaven starts winning a battle for someone righteous, they go out and make like some type of worship to worship like destruction. <sighs> so I know like a lot of my like in like hardships have been because of this like worship. Okay, so. This whole like video basically is about, um, you know, <clears throat> I realize that a lot of my favor, all my favor, comes from the strength of my world. Like the people I met along the way, you know, the Bible says that the prophet Elisha went to this woman who was a widow and she asked him for help because she had no help and he told her to gather these bottles fill them up with oil and sell them, right? Like, if you interpret that, that, that means that in the spirit, God tells you to go out, find people around you and heal each other, and then, uh, like, sell each other healing, make a business out of, out of your human spirit, and then you guys can live off of that, you know? <clears throat> so, like, I've seen, like, a lot of rappers and stuff. <clears throat> like, let's say I get a favor from someone. So all like all of them start talking about the favor and they curse it because of the principalities that they represent because they're authorities for the devil, you know? Like this means like I had a vision one time that these two fingers were like cut off. So that means that like a lot of these celebrities they're bound by a promise of accusations, like uh the devil gives them world glory. But uh, the whole time, they have to be miserable. They have to have a broken spirit the whole time because these two fingers are broken, okay? Like the spirit of a union and the spirit of a curse. So they get delivered from a curse, but it still results in a broken spirit. And they, uh, they have no union with the spirit of God resulting in a broken spirit. So they always have a broken spirit and they're bound by this uh, authority to make up for a promise of accusations to curse someone righteous I guess so like um you know I started watching like TV Joshua a long time ago and um <clears throat> I started asking him for like I started praying for like deliverance you know 
for it to be Joshua to like deliver me from like this covenant. And I saw in the spirit that he did. And then um, after that, like, I saw that he was like possessed. He like condemned me because he was being controlled by this like evil spirit. And, um, you know, I want to say that like over seven years ago, I started worshiping the fact that I was no longer going to listen to worldly music. Maybe I saw TV Joshua because he has more influence. Um, but, you know, I know that Nicki Minaj, all her music that she comes out with, she worships nothing but destruction. I, like, do not favor none of her music no more. I don't can't listen to it because it's just, like, all destruction. That's, like, the principality that she is. And, uh, like, anytime something good's about to happen, like, she comes out with some type of music video to curse. Like, I see it as, like, my own life or, like, a righteous life. So, in this, like, uh, in my last video, I talked about where I seem like all this favor for curses. Because my favor is getting recycled by these prophetic, uh, by this, like, Illuminati or pr pr prophetic bugs that, uh, get favor for destroying the righteous. So, I'm gonna talk about... How like I uh, I seen someone in a big chair giving me like a doll like a Barbie doll and they were saying like oh we gotta find Jeff or, like I heard someone saying that Jeff is this like really abusive guy that my old best friend used to date that means that uh, someone from my world like my church or my neighbor or whoever it is like we're healing each other you know, like, we're doing favors for each other in the spirit. They're giving me, like, a good job or a good authority. Like, this lady uh, at church, she prayed for me. Okay? Like, they're giving me, like, favor for a good job. Okay? Like, a, a big authority. Good authority. And then I heard someone saying, like, now we gotta stage this uh, relationship with some type of man that's gonna destroy her. And someone that's spiritually abusive. Like, someone that's gonna destroy her in the spirit. I mean, I saw it, so, like, fuck that. <laughs> you know, like, I ain't falling for that trick again. The next man I get, I get with is gonna be, like, someone righteous, okay? So, after that, uh, what did I see? Oh, like, in the past, I, like, went back and, like, deleted some videos because in the spirit I saw, like, my old pastor cursing me or some righteous singers cursing me, and... I know that it was like not even like I want to say that it like wasn't them kind of because I seen all these curses in all these Hollywood movies like these curses came from before from like what I've seen like even the oldest black and white shit like I've seen <laughs> references of like curses from the past so like I went back and I like deleted some videos where I was like talking shit about some righteous worship singers that I've seen I mean, I hope that they're not worshiping destruction. God forbid they are. Okay, but I went back and deleted that. And, uh, you know, like I saw... I'm going to talk about my dream and then I'll talk about, like... Uh, when I got my ass beat for apparently agreeing to this in the spirit. Like, physically on earth I got my ass beat. <laughs> and, uh... I was only, like, 13, but I'm going to talk about this. These dreams, like... I seen Cardi B laying down. And, uh... I was just like harassing her ass in this. Cardi B represents like a principality for division, okay? Like I've heard Cardi B in dreams, like they're telling her like, you have to torture Crystal now. And she's like, no, no, no. You know, like, like this, this is like the torment of these like celebrities. You know, the uh, Hollywood industry worships these curses before like righteous people are even born. And then whoever, you know, a righteous person favors, that's who they make, like, torture them, I guess. Like, I used to like Cardi B and stuff because I didn't know that they were worshiping curses. I know now. You know, it's like deceitful favor so that uh, someone righteous can favor someone evil just because they're destruction. You know, like, I can see now. Thank God. So I was, like, fighting this bitch. I was fighting Cardi B in the stream. I was, like, yelling at her and screaming at her. And she was like laying down and uh, I was like, what the fuck is this? Blah, blah, blah. Like I was talking all this shit because uh, my whole world is like 
my whole world got destroyed because of all this worship music in the past I used to listen to. Uh, worldly worship music. And they were like, why are you doing that to her, you know? And I'm like, because it's, it's causing division in my whole fucking world. Okay? <laughs> so, she was lying down and like I seen her teeth. Like I seen on my own uh, page that I was agreeing to foolishness for like a gift of beauty. Like believing that my favor is coming from like celebrities when it's coming from the people in my world. Just so that when they talk about it, it could be cursed. Okay, like that's basically what happened. I'm going to talk about what I mean. Then I saw uh, Chris Brown. Me and him sat down on this couch and I had like these new shoes. <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, just like, you know, <laughs> what happened after that? Then, like, the, the next part of the stream, like, I seen Will Ferrell for some reason. And uh, I was, like, sitting on his lap, and I was, like, asking him for help. Like, can you tell these motherfuckers? I was like, okay. And then he, like, walked up to me and was like, uh, he said something like, don't curse them. But, like, something that he did in the spirit was, like, he was cursing me anyways. <laughs> Basically, like, what happened in that dream, he was telling me, like, uh, I'm not going to accuse your body of losing authority. I'm going to accuse your mind of losing authority. Or some some shit like that. Like, I was seeing, like, in all these, like, worship videos of Nicki Minaj where she's, like, cursing the church I was at with betrayal, um, with confusion, with, uh, like, everything. Like, she was talking about um, uh, TV Joshua, like, giving me favor to quit smoking. And, like, in one of her like recent videos i seen her like worshiping destruction on me quitting smoking or something like that like all of her videos are destruction okay so uh i'm assuming when i seen um i mean i haven't really seen anyone else like worshiping destruction i seen jen johnson saying that the beauty of lies was not going to lose authority <clears throat> But I had dreams that I was like an act, like I was trying out for movies. So maybe that's like a promise that she's talking about. Or maybe she's just talking about a promise that I got from someone in my world. I'm not really sure why I'm saying it. I had a dream that I was forced into a contract with a familiar spirit. So maybe like that's why this is happening. But um, after that I seen what he did. And I like bitched him out. Because I asked him to help me. And he attacked me, okay? Like, I seen Nicki Minaj worshipping this shit. Like, saying that, uh, that I was gonna, like, attack my whole world and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And then I seen this, like, weird-ass visions, like, of people, like, worshipping me. It was really weird. Like, I was standing outside in the light and people were, like, worship, run, like, going around me dancing and stuff. It was really weird. <laughs> And then also in the dark, doing the same thing. They were like worshiping me. Super weird. And uh, like Nicki Minaj came out with a video like that, okay? It's called Ganja Burn. She's talking about uh, in that video, the deliverance that was gonna happen when I talked about it. And she's trying to like fight it, you know? So, um, I seen this weird thing, okay? That means that, first of all, I got favor from my church, okay? Then I seen Chris Brown on his page, like, shooting a basketball and, like, sitting. You know, Chris Brown represents, like, a betrayal of, like, an absolutely no favor. So, if he's worshiping favor in my life, he's cursing it with no favor, okay? First of all, um, I'm not sure why I would sit down on a couch with him sitting down on a couch with him means that we're sharing something okay like i'm gonna talk about when i worked in this place <clears throat> for the people that do this shit in the spirit and what it's gonna cost them because physically i had a job where i was selling like loans for really really high interest rates you know so that uh, we're sitting on a couch that means i'm gonna get this favor and i'm gonna give you a favor and that means like uh comfort for the pit like like, that's something that I was going to do for him or something. I mean, I would never share my favor with someone that's worshipping destruction in my life. That's just fucking stupid. But apparently, like, this is what I saw. It was really weird. And, uh, Cardi B laying down means that in the past, someone gave me favor, like, for my teeth. 
to fix my teeth. Like, uh, someone gave me a favor in my world to fix my teeth. Like, the guy I was working at, working with in the past. And I'm assuming, uh, I've seen either, oh, I've seen, uh, what's her name? Meg the Stallion in the spirit saying that they accused her of, of stealing my favor for that. Okay? So I know, like, when I dream something like that, it's because, uh, I'm going to see it on earth, like, in the spirit, you know? So I'm assuming I was, like, uh, attacking Cardi B with this shit. Because she was, uh, worshipping curses of division from, like, all my fucking favor on earth, okay? And then Will Ferrell represents someone that's, like, he is supposed to be, like, Joy for, like, cursing his own covenant. And, uh, he's supposed to be, like, shame in a church. And, uh, that's it. So apparently I was praying, like, God, let my enemies destroy each other. <laughs> for some reason, I'm still seeing, like, Will Ferrell. Like, he's someone that curses people. And, uh, like, when they ask for it, you know? But I've seen him cursing me, like, in the, in the dream. Like, he'll curse these people for you. <laughs> But he gonna curse your ass too, okay? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I still don't understand why I would see myself asking, uh, like, worldly people that worship destruction for help in the spirit. But I've also seen, like, other people accusing me of being them, like, in their, in their videos or whatever. Like, I'm myself. My name is Crystal Ann Joyner. It ain't Beyonce. My name, like, I had dreams that they were telling me I was Beyonce. I'm not Beyonce. Beyonce is not me. Not Nicki Minaj. Not like none of these people. The only reason I could even imagine I'm even having these dreams is because I saw myself being cursed as a familiar spirit. And um, what else? Uh, I seen this lady at church like, I asked her to babysit for me for when I like start a new job. And I seen her teeth like turn real sharp and like go like this, you know? <laughs> this lady represents like a vicious ass attack against hell in my life, okay? Just by helping me babysit. <clears throat> and I'm assuming that's where like I got this favor from and now I'm seeing it like in all these worship singers. Like it's it's just really strange and uh it's just weird, okay? Like to have your fucking favor go through all these like cycles of destruction, like these places, people are already like in a place of favor. It's just really weird to see, you know? It's kind of like scary. And then seeing like... I mean, I guess I've seen like uh, the public, like people around me worshipping me. Or like uh, worshipping the truth about my life. Like I can see that in a lot of like people, like celebrities, okay? And uh, worshipping the sin in my life the same way, like the public opinion worshiping the sin in my life um and then i seen like a bunch of people just standing in a dark ass room okay like a lot of people standing up for lies or sin okay maybe it's like good <laughs> because um uh, talked about like all my fights in the past to overcome this like false identity of being accused of like weakness i saw like rihanna as that person so So, you know, I started worshipping this plan for my YouTube channel when I was with my cousins. Like, me and my cousins, apparently they gave me favor for my YouTube channel. Like, my cousins, Jackie and all them. Like, when we were hanging out a lot, that was when I posted all these pictures of us. Like, we were going on all these beautiful vacations. Like, I posted all these different memories and pictures of, like, all these fake familiar spirits losing authority for my life. All their betrayals losing authority that's something that me and, and the strength of my the love of my own family um did and then i see Nicki minaj like worshiping destruction on my relationships and my family and the strength and the power and and the love of the family that's like in our hearts you know like my whole family like i've seen all these different pictures from the past my family is like really fucking fighting this curse and i couldn't see it in the past because i was blinded you know by darkness apparently Yeah, okay. weird that, like, uh, I would believe that these celebrities are responsible for this greatness 
uh, when they're not, you know, like if a celebrity is giving me favor for something good, um, that I can't get in my world, like, thank you so much, I appreciate that, but don't, uh, don't lie about the good things you're doing if it's not true, you know, like, that's really strange, and I did see, like, a, oh yeah, I already talked about this, like, Nicki Minaj video, where she, you know, I had a vision that I had, like, hair like a lion, and I turned around and had the face of a lion, and in the Bible, a lion can represent, like, evangelism, like, the reason why she didn't want uh, T.B. Joshua talking about uh, cursing the spirit of smoking in my life because she doesn't want my spirit, like, with him in that church or speaking greatness into my life because he has the influence and the power to do that if he's, you know, like, I was a fan of his or whatever. So I'm going to talk about this, like, uh, so first of all, let me go back. So when these celebrities destroy your life, steal time from you, Maybe there was like some type of weird agreement, like uh, the favor that you're gonna steal from my life is only gonna be borrowed. I worked at this place, <laughs> title loan place, okay? These people bring in their cars, they take a lien out. That means I'm a partial owner of this opportunity that you have to do this, okay? And uh, you're gonna get charged a lot of interest. And uh, you know, I did a lot of collection calls. I really think that this job in the past represented the opportunities that have been stolen for me by these like uh familiar spirits that i see as like celebrities okay now they're getting charged interest for what they're doing okay so that means that they're gonna have to pay back everything they stole and they're gonna have to suffer for it okay they're gonna have to pay back what they stole and give more because the opportunities that they have i'm not like a partial owner of it that's like how a title loan place works they don't pay back the money they can never get a title loan again okay so i'm gonna talk about like i couldn't find much on familiar spirits in the bible <clears throat> but um i'm gonna talk about isaiah 19 where he's talking about these people that consult the dead like the illuminati you know excuse me <laughs> so isaiah 19 it says an oracle concerning Egypt. Behold, the Lord is riding on a swift cloud and comes to Egypt, and the idols of Egypt will tremble at his presence, and the heart of the Egyptians will melt within them. And I will stir up Egyptians against Egyptians, and they will fight each other against each other, and against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, and the spirit of the Egyptians within them will be emptied out. So, you know, like in Egypt, there was like a servant, uh, like the pyramid, you know, like it was like a slave, it was like a freaking, uh, servitude place, you know, like Pharaoh was evil, he had an extremely hardened heart, people were slaving to build up their business, you know, like these evil celebrities that have fruitful fans, they destroy their life and like force them to be a slave, like I have all these different, my testimony in the past where I, Talk about all these jobs I've lost to uh, give my testimony and break free from helping like evil celebrities like this or being a fan in my heart of, of celebrities that are evil, you know? So he's saying, coming down on a cloud, that means that, that God is giving a message now, okay? For the idols, like destruction, division, uh, betrayal, lies okay and the spirit of the egyptians within them will be empty out the spirit of the egyptians like who represent like fans of these evil principalities okay and i will confound their counsel and they will inquire of the idols and the sorcerers and the mediums and the necromancers and i will give over the egyptians into the hand of a hard master and a fierce king will rule over them that means that they're no longer going to get this, like, righteous wisdom. They're going to be seeking the dead. And they're going to have this, like, evil eyes ruler now. <laughs> like, uh, they're going to pick someone else to destroy that's going to be fucking evil. That is, like, not going to have no type of sympathy on their ass for the shit they do. <laughs> okay. And then he says, And I will give over the Egyptians into the hand of a hard master, and a fierce king will rule over them, declares the Lord God of hosts. 
and the waters of the sea will be dried up, and the river will be dry and parched, and its canals will become foul, and the branches of Egypt's Nile will diminish and dry up. Reeds and rushes will rot away. That means there, uh, a lot of these evil principalities that do this and get exposed, <clears throat> God's going to send a message, and uh, they're going to be under the thumb of a very evil ruler that's going to dry up all their opportunities. Okay, and there will be bare places by the Nile. There's not going to be no revival for these people. Like, this actually, like, happened to me. I mean, I'm not, like, an evil principality, but this is what it's saying God's going to do to these uh, hardened evil principalities. <clears throat> there will be bare places by the Nile on the brink of the Nile, and all that is sown by the Nile will be parched, will be driven away, and will be no more. That means, like, all of the seeds of destruction that you guys are sowing, you know, the Bible says that there will be no more. Like, that's it. All the, all the revival that you, you get from destroying people is done, you know. The fishermen will mourn and lament. All who cast a hook in the Nile, they will languish who spread nets on the water. So these people are uh, like these evil spirits. They're fishing for like miracles by cursing the righteous. Okay. Those who are the pillars of the land will be crushed, and all who work for pay will be grieved. The princes of Zoan are utterly foolish. Princes. The princes of Zoan, like people of influence, like royal influence. They're foolish, okay? The wisest counselors of Pharaoh give stupid, give stupid counsel. So the people that are counseling them are just like foolish. Like they give them really stupid advice. How can you say to Pharaoh, I am a son of the wise, a son of ancient kings? Where then are your wise men? <laughs> Let them tell you that they know what the Lord of hosts has, has uh, proposed against Egypt. The princes of Zoan have become fools, and the princes of Memphis are deluded. Those who are the cornerstones of her tribes have made Egypt stagger. That means the protection for these people are uh is what destroyed them you know like the cornerstone like the protection of uh these celebrities or whatever like the counsel that they receive like worshiping destruction that's who destroys you guys your own uh royalty is what destroyed you <clears throat> the lord has mingled within her a spirit of confusion and they will make egypt egypt stagger in all its deeds as a drunken man staggers in his vomit and there will be nothing for egypt that head or tail, palm, branch, or reed may do. So that means uh, all these evil spirits that do this, like principalities of destruction. Like I've seen Nicki Minaj worshipping like confusion and destruction and uh, worshipping betrayals in like a righteous life. Like in Isaiah 19, he talks about this. Okay, what is it? It's not Isaiah. Uh, yeah, Isaiah 19. You know, Isaiah was a prophet. And, um, he, uh, saying that he confuses them, you know? And, um, they basically fall into their own foolishness. You know, I couldn't really find much else about, uh, about familiar spirits. Besides, a lot of them do, like, uh, witchcraft or, like, they consult the dead for information. And, you know, he says that when this happens to these people, there's, the authorities aren't going to help you. He says that there will be nothing for Egypt that head or tail, palm branch or reed may do, okay? That means there ain't going to be an authority that's going to help you. No authority ain't going to help you. The life of someone righteous ain't going to help you. And that's it, you know? And growth in the future ain't going to help you, Okay. And then it says, uh, in that day, the Egyptians will be like women and tremble with fear before the hand that the Lord of hosts shakes over them. And the land of Judah will become a terror to the Egyptians. You know, like the Lion of Judah. <laughs> Everyone who, to whom it is mentioned will fear because of the purpose that the Lord of hosts has proposed against them. In that day, there will be five cities in the land of, e of Egypt that speak the language of Canaan and swear allegiance to the Lord of hosts. One of these uh, will be called the City of Destruction. 
five cities means like the principalities that have favor, like the celebrities, okay? One of those cities is destruction. Okay. So he talks about after that that the uh, in that day though there will be an altar to the Lord. Uh, what does it say? Sorry, there will be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. So there's uh these people still pray to God. Some of these people still pray to God, you know. And uh, it will be a sign and a witness to the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt when they cry to the Lord because of oppressors. He will send them a savior and defender and deliver them. So these evil people that oppress uh, other celebrities for uh, doing something righteous or doing something good, God talks about sending them protection. Okay, like, he'll protect the righteous for doing something righteous, but he ain't fucking protecting no city of destruction, okay? That's pretty much it. <laughs> and I was just going to talk about uh, this fight I got with my sister a long time ago. Like this happened like in front of our house and uh, we started wrestling on the stairs and then we like went down the stairs and then she like beat my ass really bad on the lawn <laughs> you know fighting going down the stairs means that maybe physically in the spirit i was uh agreeing to being in hell uh for like these celebrities or something okay getting my ass beat my sister whooped my ass that represents her like fucking up the spirit of agreeance with obedience to the spirits of death. You know, like, my sister uh, beat her up for doing that, you know? Because uh, God is, like, merciful, you know? <laughs> but um, that's pretty much it, all I wanted to talk about. So I pray that uh, you guys would pray for me. Pray for, like, these celebrities. <laughs> and um, keep on keeping on. And God bless you all.